Hey guys, Mimsy Bell here. We're back in The Wolf Among Us, and well, as you can see, episode 4 is out, so we are going to go play that. Yes, start the episode. And it should be showing how the last episode, so I'm going to be quiet now. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shot with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Uh, I forgot she broke his arm at the very end. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually forgot that though. But wow. Alrighty, and that is right, I did not kill, um, Dumb? It was Dumb, right? That wasn't D, that was Dumb. I wonder what would have happened if I had killed Dumb. How different it would be. What's gonna happen today, anything. Oh, fuck. Hi, Bloody Mary. I didn't summon you. See you around. Yeah, I thought I didn't summon you. Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Yeah, we don't need that. Easy there. Try not to move. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. No, don't move your arm! We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were uh, conscious. But there's little okay? I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Sorry. Please, Bigby, don't move. Oh, God. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Uh, uh, God, no, I'm sorry, I can't watch that. Oh shit, 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 no, 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 no! Ah! Doing it? I don't know. Why do I? Oh, motherfucker. Should have let him do it. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh. I'm sorry. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. Ugh. And he won't be next time if he it keeps going like this. He didn't weird. listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. <laughs> I can hear there you. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. Fine. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. 
and I need the space to work, so well, I'll be if fine. you wouldn't mind. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be down in a moment. Just please, give us the yeah, time. please go over there. Let him do what he needs to do. <laughs> Don't you dare. Hey, Doc, how much longer? He did. Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? <laughs> Don't I'm here there. to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This Man, time's no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Lovely. Fucking lovely. Guess what? He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. <laughs> I can still Just hear you. Watch. I can still hear you. Anyways, <laughs> guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yep, it's beer time. So, how do you, um, feel? What do you think? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, good I see it take worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. Shut up. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. All right, so we're getting a little lovey-dovey now. Um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you uh, like that. And you were when really Swineheart worried? Arrived, you were really worried about me? Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. Oh my man. god. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin. <laughs> I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Uh, should I be worried about the crooked man know, taking over? Like Snow's course. the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm Shut just saying, that's up. not exactly something you do when you're Look, playing with house she money. She saved my yeah. life. Uh, thanks, Snow. For all that back there. I don't care. Give no Crane problem. up, you motherfucker, Thanks. anyways. You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. You weren't there. You weren't there, Colin. So just drop it. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark but clearly he's operating in other circles it can't just be about crane right getting him out of town is this all about the murders crane can't be useful to him anymore so what could this have to do with faith and lily crane was a puppet and the crooked man worked the strings this is all about control of fabled town but then what do prostitutes have to do with it lily and faith I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. 
Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? I'm not sure. What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously uh, sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. We're doing Look, okay. I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure is driven snow. Oh my God. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of. Sure, you're not. <laughs> this town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Oh, whatever, I'll be I nice really and agree with her. You're that right. We needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice. I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. I'll make her freaking happy for right now. Shut Look. up! I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. <laughs> Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. You have my respect at certain and points. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Oh, I don't break. think so. He's not leaving. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? Uh, it's been the rule for calm a reason, down. Colin. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? You're not leaving, don't worry. I told you before, you weren't leaving, you're not leaving. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? So. Okay. He's not leaving. He stays at the house anyway, so in the apartment all the time. Guess Never leaves. He's waiting in your office right now. The muffin man. Narissa. Uh, Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. She Shut knows up. something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. <laughs> so smart move. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. I'll be nice to her hey, son, but... you're not mm. really gonna send me to the farm, are you? No, you never leave the fucking house I mean, anyways. she seemed real serious about it. But I can still hang out here. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Pinter's friendship over the rules. That's fine. He never leaves the fucking apartment. It's not like Toad. Toad apparently leaves the apartment all the time. But Colin never leaves. He's always there. I'm not gonna make him, like, you know, have to go. He's fine where he is. Hey, Narissa. What? Oh. He's <laughs> gonna go to this thing. Okay. Oh, you know what? Since she's talking about sending everyone to the farm who's unglamored, am I gonna have to decide to send Toad and um, his son to the farm? I really don't want to have to do that. I feel bad if I did. I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's just what I'm thinking. But yeah, I wouldn't send Colin to the farm. I don't care if he is an ass sometimes. 
told him I wouldn't send him to the farm before. I'm not going back on my word about that. I'll make Snow somewhat happy and then other than that, it's just... No. <laughs> not going back on my promises. But yay, episode four in sheep's clothing. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. Nice office. Cigarettes everywhere. I, um, are you okay? Eh, I'm fine. You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Hacking up along, so let's smoke now. <laughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Um, what Thanks. Crane want with you? So what was that back there with Crane? He wanted you to tell me something. You know, it's not too late to talk. You know, you There's can. not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. I know. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? Of course not. What I mean is... I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. Um... It... might work. Was Crane set up? Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. And you sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. Motherfucker. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, but is this going somewhere? Oh, that's not what I meant. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but. Oh, your lips are sealed. But. But your lips are sealed. I didn't want to ask I'm about the crooked man because that would just sorry be too I'm straight to the point time. with her. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? I do know something about the ribbons, though. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Yeah, I know what the ribbon does. Because all the girls are wearing the ribbons. At least the ones that have been working for him. Oh god, what are you doing? What are you... Don't touch it! Nope! Any way to break spell? That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Don't touch it! Don't touch the ribbon! Is there something I can do about it? Don't no. touch it! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! <laughs> Just stay back! Yeah, you don't touch you the ribbon. You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please. Don't. You can talk about the ribbon, but don't touch the ribbon. Don't try to take it off of her. Like I said, okay. I know some stuff about the ribbon. I got it. Just so the ribbons 
if we need the fatal stuff. Off. Comfort her. If anyone finds out I came here, it's just snow. That's probably snow. Listen, what Sheriff. You can you keep this conversation between us? Of course. I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Don't want you in it up dead next. Don't give me that look. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Mm. Wait, you don't have to go. That right there was a hint. Just the way she said it. You should go. That was you won't be wasting abrupt. your time. That's one way to send a message. Mm, okay, so that's what a did lead. she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then, good work. I can't I promise her and say so I'll about tell Beauty you. and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? There what you go, Nerissa just pointed us there. One? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Oh, really? Like what? Do tell. No, she... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Is it saving? Okay. Ooh, once upon a time. Because it's saving, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut it here. And when we pick up, we'll go see what Beauty and Beast wanted. And, um, sorry if I haven't really been talking a lot during this episode. I'm just kind of just letting them talk since there's a lot going on. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!